So let's get started with our project. We will start from scratch. We have only the main.dart. Here, uh, first of everything, we have to import the packages that we require in this application. These are the packages which I already uh, inserted them inside the pubspeak YAML. I will link them in the description so you can get the latest version of them to save some time. I did that. And also I configured my Firebase database application, a brand new Firebase for this. It is also configured, as you can see here, I have Google services.json from that Firebase. You have to do that by yourself. So let's get started with our actual coding. Here I will create a separate home page for my home page and I will create that in here. So now we should be done with our main and we will go to our home. So we have our scaffold with an app bar of a title image. Now here I will add a floating action button in order to add an image. So we have our floating action button with having this icon of adding a new image. And on press of this floating action button I will pop the user to choose an image from gallery and then we will show up that dialog to whether to confirm uploading that into our database or not. So let's proceed with our first function of choose image. So I will create this uh, choose image function down below here. But before that we require some variables inside our home. So I will declare those variables very quick. So these variables are self-explanatory, no need to say something extra about them. So this is our image collection reference. For this I have to initialize this one. So I have given a reference into our image collection reference. We will use it later on in upload file. So we are done with declaration of the variables. Let's go down here. So here I have picked the file from the gallery, then assigned that inside our image variable that we have declared up. Here I will check if the picked file here is null. It happens sometimes with the flutter, like you choose the image from gallery or some, sometimes you cancel that. That returns a null. If it is null, we will go and retrieve lost data. We will create another function for retrieving the lost data. So of course if our pix file is now in there, we will check for the lost data and here I will also check if the lost data file is not null. I will assign that inside the image variable. Otherwise, I will print what is the response from there. So now we are done with the picking image from the gallery. Now we have to show that inside a container in alert dialog and show two buttons whether to confirm or cancel. Let's proceed with that. So when we choose the image after completing the choosing image from the gallery it will show a dialog and the child of that dialog will be an alert dialog with the title of confirm upload and the content inside that will be a container which is having the image as its decoration image and that's basically it. I have also assigned the container height into the size of device, height of device divided by 3, you can apply your size as you wish.
So here we have two buttons, one is for canceling and one is for confirming. In case we confirm the image to be uploaded in the database, we have to upload them. So for that, again, we have to create another function to upload the, uh, this image into our Firebase and later on we could access that. So this is the path that our image will be stored inside the Firebase storage. So now using that path storage reference, we will upload this into, we will actually upload this into our storage, then we will print file is uploaded. So after uploading that inside our Firebase storage, we will get a downloadable URL, then assign that URL inside our variable that we have declared up here. So I think you have got what I have done here. After completing this process, I have just simply using that image collection reference, I added that inside the database. And after that, I print that link has been added to database. I will show you the result. Now we should be ready to test our app if we don't have any error. So yeah, everything looks fine. Before we run our app inside our main.dart, we have to initialize and we have to ensure that the Firebase is initialized. So for that, we will come before the running our app. We will write await. This will make it to first finish this one and then run the app. So yeah, let's uh, test our app and see whether it works uh, according to our definitions here or not. So this is the image that I, I just clicked from my gallery and now it shows the pop-up whether you want to confirm the image upload or not. So if I click on this cancel button, it will simply cancel and nothing will happen. But let's do it again and confirm the image upload. Okay, we have our file uploaded and link added in the Firebase. Let, let me check and show you whether it is added or not. So if you come to storage, you will see that a folder will be created called image. Inside that, we will have the image file uploaded here. And if we go to our cloud Firebase, The URL has also been added here. If you click this link, it will take us to the link of the image. So that's it for this part of the video. In the next part, I will show you how to retrieve those images from Firebase and show them very nicely inside your home page, like you have seen in the demo of the application. So if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.